Hello everyone, this is John back again with another review. Today I'm going to be doing a product review of a new uh, frozen pizza that has came out relatively uh, lately. Um, and this is from DiGiorno. You know it's new, but it says so right here. New. And this is the croissant crust. DiGiorno pizza. As you can see in the picture, it shows all these flaky croissant layers. And of course, it's just a pepperoni, as you saw. Um, cook this for 400 degrees for 25 to 27 minutes. Let it stand for 3 to 8 minutes. And that's what we got here. I have three slices in front of me. This is what uh, the crust looked like on my end where it came out. To me, that doesn't scream at me as croissant. I guess you could see some kind of layers in there. Let's compare that to the picture of the crust and then the actual crust. Does that look the same to you? To me, it doesn't really. I will say that when it was cooking, um, my kitchen is way back on the other side of the, the house here, but me sitting here at my work desk, I was able to smell it, and it smelled very buttery, smelled like you were baking croissants, really. So it does have a, a buttery croissant-like smell. Um, the crust itself I don't really see a lot of layers. It just looks kind of bubbly, like a regular pizza crust would. Let's give it a taste and see. Maybe it tastes more for something like. It is, um, I would say, a little bit more airy. Uh, a little more crisp on the bottom. You see, like, on the bottom here, that's actually what the bottom of a croissant really looks like. It's really dark. Um, it's really, like, almost like shards. You can see, like, when I'm breaking this off, like, just, like, little layery shards come out. So, there are actually some course not like layers to there. I guess, I guess it just didn't puff up enough. But when I'm biting through this, I definitely get the the feeling of like especially the bottom of a croissant. There's really nothing special about the sauce, the cheese, the pepperoni. It's all the same stuff you would typically get on a DiGiorno pizza. But uh, I think the, the real test is going to be eating the, the crust here. Because we're getting rid of the pizza topping part. We're just going all dough. Let's see how crunchy it is, if it's buttery. Does it remind me of a croissant? Okay. So, the butteriness, the airiness, the really thin, crispy layers. It really is all there. Um, so I think overall, I am pretty impressed about this. It does remind me, flavor-wise, texture-wise, as a croissant. The only gripe I have about this is that it just didn't puff out enough. And these three pieces were a pretty good representation of the rest of the pizza. 
This one is probably the most puffy. I don't know if you can see that. That one has a little bit more demonstration of the layers there. And again, the bottom of that looks like a croissant wood on the bottom. And I know with the heaviness of the toppings, you're probably not going to get a lot of puff. But I was hoping that the crust would get more puffy. Really, in the picture, I don't think the crust end looks all that more puffy than the middle parts. But uh, the edge of it just doesn't look like the edge of this. I think maybe if you, if you stop the cheese a little bit earlier and just let that crust be just like a buttered layer, it would puff out more without the heaviness of the cheese. But I think you can tell overall I am impressed. Uh, the buttery, flaky crust, uh, it's really enjoyable with uh, pizza toppings. Who would have thought a croissant pizza would be good? Or, or even doable? Well, as you can see, like, the layers on, on here are very compact. They didn't puff out. You do get the bottom part. You do get uh, really thin layers. <laughs> Excuse me. You do get really thin layers. Buttery. Crispy. It, the flavor is, is really good. The flavor is on point. Tastes like uh, croissant dough. And overall, I'm very impressed. So I'm going to uh, give DiGiorno Croissant Crust pizza I'm gonna give this a, a 9.3 out of 10 I do recommend you try it if you uh, you're a fan of frozen pizzas you want to try something new you're a fan of croissants you like that buttery flavor and texture try this out it's well worth it um, I'm happy I got it very uh, approving of, of this lunch today Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. We'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye.